I am always in search of the perfect red lipstick. So I thought, why not go and make one for myself? So um, I made an appointment to go to Bite Beauty Lab, and I got to go with one of my friends and fellow YouTuber, um, Jen, from Jen Loves Reviews. And we had an awesome time. Um, I'm going to do just a short intro. I'm going to swatch the lipsticks that I got. And I'm going to show you about a minute's worth of some footage. Um, no real talking. And if you want to see the whole experience, I'm going to put the link below to Jen's video. Because she did an awesome job capturing the entire experience. One thing I wanted to tell you was today, you must be like, well, if you're going to swatch, what do, you, what do you have on your lips? Um, I actually had one of the colors, or I put one of the colors on this morning, the red. I got a red and a brown. Um, I put the red on this morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. It is like 10 o'clock at night. I have eaten and drank, like, out of bottles, out of a straw, like, I ate stir fry. Um, I will tell you, I did use a lip liner. I used the um, ColourPop lip liner in Poison. Um, I did fill it in just a little bit, so that probably helped. But this is insane. I mean, it's by no means all there, but it's been like 13 hours. That's crazy for a regular lipstick, okay? Not like a liquid to matte. All right, so I got two lipsticks. Uh, this is the red and this is the brown. And they come in out uh, of the Bite Beauty packaging. You actually get to choose um, the covers. They had four different covers, like tops, shapes. Um, you got to, to mix your own color. Like, they mix it for you, but you get to tell them what you want. Um, you get to choose the scent and you get to choose the tops. Red here um, has been used a lot less than my brown um, if you look at them side by side you'll be able to tell that I think there's no nope, yeah you'll be able to tell 
Um, one thing was, I think, I like I said, I hadn't worn this since pretty much the day after I got them. And I feel like it changed color a little bit. Um, like it got darker. I do not have... I'm trying to, I do not have my contacts in, and this mirror has a light, um, so it's like a ring light, um, so I can't see, um, what you're seeing, so I'm sorry if you couldn't see me put this on, um, so there it is. The color, that was one swipe. Like, the pigmentation. Um, I wouldn't call, this isn't like one of those mattes that just like <sighs> is super dry. It's not one of those mattes that goes on and then sets dry. Um, it has a bit of a sheen to it. I think the red is uh, more matte than the brown, though. The brown. And this one smells like mango vanilla, but it doesn't... I don't think she put as much, like, stuff in it as she did in the other one, because... I mean, this smells good, but not like that. Not like that at all. Alright. If I missed my lip, I am sorry. <laughs> Again, I cannot see. So this is my uh, brownie reddish brown. Brownie reddish brown. I don't even know what that is. Um, and again, see, this is the matte finish. But if you look, it's really shiny. It's a lot shinier than the other one. Um, the nice thing about these cards, they said now that we should be able to call it in. Um, I actually have another recipe here because she made a third lipstick. Um, I think it was the red, and I couldn't decide between the two. And I feel like I should have gotten it because it was lighter. Um, but now we should be able to call it in and get it. So, um, I'm a drugstore girl, and I will always be a drugstore girl. Maybelline's uh, color matte <laughs> line. Oh, like besides these two lipsticks <laughs> are my favorite lipsticks. Beyond, they really are. Um, I own, you know, Urban Decay lipsticks. I own. Um, Tarte lipsticks. Uh, I own Kat Von D lipsticks. I own um, some NARS lip pencils. Um, I own some other Bite products. I own. I don't own the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I don't own YSL. I don't own Estee Lauder. I have tried Estee Lauder though, but it was a long time ago. Um, I actually don't own any Mac. Um, I keep needing to go get <laughs> a couple. What should I say? Besides those two lipsticks, I really still. I mean, give me a Wet and Wild. Give me Wet and Wild's Mega Last and Cherry Bomb. Now I tell you, it's very close to this color. It's not quite, but it's very close. Um. <laughs> uh. Oh. You know, so don't get me wrong, I am not advocating that people go out and spend $40 on a lipstick. It was really more about the experience, and it meant a lot um, to me, because lipsticks mean a lot to me. Um, and it was my birthday gift to myself. 
Um, I had saved money to do it. It was, you know, I knew how much it cost. So, <laughs> um, and it was fun to share the experience with Jen and stuff. So, um, I will probably go back. I go to New York, um, not as often as I should, but I go to New York more regularly than others. So, I'm gonna let you go. I was gonna try not to edit this, but it's not gonna happen. So, I'm gonna tell you bye right now. Um, please hit that like button if you got anything out of this video. Um, I also say hitting that like button is like clapping for me. It lets me know that uh, you enjoyed watching me. Um, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions about Vibe Beauty, um, about the experience, about me. Let's say about New York, but I may not be able to answer. Um, don't forget to click the video. I'll put a little annotation here too. Um, to watch the whole experience on Jen's channel. And make sure while you're there you uh, catch What's Up in Makeup. That is a new sh makeup new show that uh, Jen does every Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern. And I am the drugstore reporter. So, guys, thanks for coming and watching. You have a great day. Please hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you next time. I can't black it out. I'm way too far. Ah!